I'm Bridget Shanahan. And I'm Vince Petrano. You may want to detour around the Marquette University campus if your travels take you toward downtown today. Nearly 1,900 freshmen will be moving into their new homes. They're starting at 7 o'clock in the morning. Fall classes set to begin on Marquette's campus Monday. And this morning we're learning more about what Jordy Nelson's role will be after a season-ending knee injury. That injury came in the opening drive of Sunday's preseason game against the Steelers. Coach Mike McCarthy spoke yesterday saying Nelson will still be around the team, going to position meetings, and he'll be helping out where he can. McCarthy says, though, it's even more difficult because of all the work Nelson put in in the offseason. From a personal standpoint, you, um, you, know, you, you feel bad for Jordy, particularly his... His case of uh, coming off surgery last year and just, um, you know, I just think back to February, March, April when, when no one's here and he's in here every day. So um, it's tough. It's, it's, a, it's a tough blow to our football team, but with a good football team, adjustments are made. Packers staying at home for their next preseason game. They're set to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. That's at Lambeau Field. Kickoff time, 7 o'clock right here on today's TMJ4. A shout out to the Packers at One Direction's first concert in Wisconsin. Boy band fans flooded Miller Park for the big show last night. Band member Harry Styles is always vocal about his support for the green and gold. And there he is waving around a flag on stage before starting the Go Pack Go chant. I can't tell you how good it is to be around people who understand what a good football team is. That's what I'm talking about. Make some noise if you like cheese. Styles went on to hold a moment of silence for Jordy Nelson. Fall weather pattern continues to stick around here in southeastern Wisconsin, and we've been on a downward slide the past five days from 83 last Friday and yesterday to 64 clouds and breezy. It looked like October yesterday and felt like it as well. Still cloudy this morning. This storm system that just won't get out of here. 59 degrees is the temperature. Northwest wind is at 7. If it's going to be cloudy like this, it might as well rain at least a little bit so we can get uh, some of that helpful precipitation that we still need. Eastern half of the state socked in the clouds from that low pressure up in Canada. Western part of the state waking up to a beautiful sunrise, and we will gradually see some of that sun here later this afternoon. It's going to take some time, so be patient, but we will see some of it mixed in with quite a bit of cloud cover as well throughout the day. Tomorrow morning, however, should be mostly clear, and we will wake up to um, a sunrise. Temperatures under the clouds are in the mid to upper 50s, where it's clear, low to mid 40s, so at least we have that going for us. It's 55 in Waukesha as of 7 o'clock, also West Bend, 53 in Watertown, Kenosha, and Racine at 58 degrees. Around Dodge County this morning, Mayville and Lomira at 52 degrees and Reeseville at 53. Juno at 52. The winds have died down as expected at least. Northwesterly at 5 to 10. They will remain light today as they shift to the north and to the northeast, keeping the lakefront just a little bit cooler. The air continues to be dry across the upper Midwest and it will remain that way for tomorrow as well as Friday. But you'll start to see that increase uh, Friday afternoon and Friday night as we get those rain showers in here and it'll continue to rain on Saturday morning and then finally clearing out, but the humidity, which even though it's on the lower end of that humid scale, will be sticking around through the weekend. With the clouds still sticking around and the cooler temperatures, we should get around 70, we'll give it a 6 today, but things should probably be improving throughout the afternoon as we see more sunshine and at least the wind will be lighter. So we have the cloud cover over us right now. Thanks in part to that storm system up to the northeast. High pressure, though, pushing that very slowly. So we'll gradually see clearing this evening and overnight tonight. Just a few clouds for Thursday, otherwise mostly sunny conditions. It is the pick day of the week. And then off to the west, you're looking at more clouds that are going to quickly move in here. And yes, rain showers moving in uh, during the day on Friday. And then Friday night into Saturday morning, rain showers likely and could see some heavy rain at times, which, as I mentioned, we still need. Lows tonight in the mid-50s around the area. It'll be 56 in Milwaukee, 54 Pewaukee. Brookfield and Big Ben. Then for tomorrow, we're talking 70s. The pick day of the week, just a little bit cooler right at the lakefront with that southeast wind at 5 to 15. So for today, some gradual clearing, a high of 70, a little bit cooler at the lakefront with that northeasterly wind. And then for tonight, clearing and 56 degrees with a light breeze. The seven day forecast shows a warming trend. Rain likely Friday night into Saturday. And then for the weekend, sunny Sunday into Monday and Tuesday.